Okay, so I'm out here in this clover field and people ask all the time, why the hell would you put cows on your food plot, right? So this clover, we didn't plant, right, John? No. We planted some uh, crimson clover, which kind of came up, fizzled out. The seeds are probably laying on the ground right now. But when did you take the cows off of here? Uh, last fall. They haven't been in here they this year yet? They haven't been in this year, nope. So the cows were munching all the grass down. And once they had it all down, it kind of looked like a golf course in here. And yeah. now this clover just kind of appeared out of the seed bank. And that's about, what, eight inches yeah. deep. Going to flower, lots of bees in here right now, honeybees and bumblebees. And it'll seed out. Some of it's already seed now. Yeah. So that clover was not there before. Nope. Before you grazed it. Nope. And look at these. Look at these insects. Yeah, those aren't a ladybug. It's not ladybugs. They're some kind of. I I for, yeah, I forget what they're, they're a... Uh, Some kind of beetle. Like a carnivorous... Uh, not carnivorous. What's the word I'm looking for? Stuff that eats other stuff. Oh, carnivorous, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's a... Yeah. But there's lots of them, and, and uh, so... Beneficial insects, pollinators... Every once in a while, there's a leftover of, of stuff that we planted, but... Most of what's showing up here, there's a, a cotton picking multiflora rose there. <laughs> but look at the pollinators over here on these yellow flowers. Yeah, look, the deer eat these. Look at that. There's like 10 bumblebees on these flowers. Well, and I intentionally didn't mow this field because of the fawns. I wanted the fawns to have some place to hide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a deer can lay their fawn out in here and then just go ahead and feed for a while. And, uh, you know, this is all good milk producing protein in here. There's more than they could possibly eat. What is this plant? I don't even know what it is. Uh, I forget. I looked it up one time, but it's it's a native plant. Bumblebee, bumbles. They're small bumblebees. I don't know what subspecies that is, but they're just going bananas on that. Deer are eating that. Well, there's so, so much feed. The deer just walk along and. Bite of this, bite yeah, they get whatever they want. That's like yesterday. Uh, you know, I was saying how I'm always bitching about buckwheat that deer don't really like it, but what the heck, you know, if it's if it's, uh, the most lush thing there is, they'll eat it. Here's a pea seed. <clears throat> is that hairy vetch or is that a pea? That's a probably an Austrian winter pea. Yeah, see, they put they pulled it out. They didn't eat the peas. Nope. Huh. Weird. <laughs> oh, here's a here's a pea. Yep. I don't know if deer like the winter peas or not. Like, I don't see a lot of heavy brows on winter peas, and that's why I like them in a mix because they don't get wiped out. Hairy vetch and peas don't get destroyed by deer. Here's some red clover. See how much taller that is? That's almost knee high. Big leaves on it. If you pick the red blossoms off red clover, it's a really good medicinal tea for uh, respiratory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got some pigweed and some... Uh, is this, I Horse call this wild, wild oats. I don't know what it is, but 
I don't. I've sure never. Sure looks like oats. Yeah, I've never planted that either, but it grows up like crazy. There's a whole bunch of it. It's a real fine stemmed grass. Well, if you get real hungry, you can come out here and just get yourself a pea. <laughs> I'm not much of a vegetable eater, but man, they're good. Now, why wouldn't a deer eat that? Because they got so much other stuff to eat. Yeah, but that tastes so much better than <laughs> clover, at least to me. Yeah, look. They pull them up and then spit them out. <laughs> Those ingrates. Yeah. That's high prey seed. Yeah. So it's July and they're just now done. Yep. But they're pumping nitrogen the whole time. I don't know what this was. It deer ate it. Yeah, here's some crimson. Oh yeah. Some crimson seed. Oh yeah, there's there's a crimson clover. This time of year, that just, you can run that down and jam it into the ground and get a, a whole new stand. Yeah, we proved that. And they, I've seen it where they put crimson in as a cover crop with brassicas in a cornfield. And it was down to zero. You know, a few years back, we had that real long stretch of super cold weather with snow yeah they were pawing down through and i thought well, they're going for the brassicas right and once i realized what they were actually eating it was the crimson clover down there look at that browse those are those pasture daisies eh? that's weird but they're eating the blossom yeah look at look at that Look how thick that is. I mean, that's easy eight inches yeah, deep. Yeah, and the, the cows were, they were going for that big time. Yeah. And you'd think, oh boy, the cows are eating up all the clover, but it just, it really just stimulated it. So I'd say that's pretty good deer cover. 